What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Damachi. Now, I want to preface this by saying there was no official live stream today, so there's not a huge amount of data. And on top of that, we really don't have a great deal to talk about, because all we're really getting is 7th Zone and Ultimate War Game. So, uh, this war game, I don't know if it's a pre-round, it's actually not listed, uh, but I would definitely treat it. If it's not listed, I would treat it as a pre-round for FWG, I just honestly don't know if that's the case or not. They haven't announced the next Familia event, uh, Familia Royale is currently still going, so make sure you're getting your scores in and all that stuff. Um, I owed you guys a video on that last night, uh, I'll drop it here in just a few minutes and... and I apologize it didn't come through because there, there were some uh, issues with the team build. Um, I'll talk about all that in that video, so stay tuned for that. But Wargame is coming back. Uh, I would treat it as a pre-round even if it is not officially announced as a pre-round. Just because you don't really want to like, you know, you, you kind of want to err on the side of caution. Especially, you know, for your familia. Who knows what could happen. So, this is a regular war game. It is going to be, uh, um, we don't know if it's going to be ranked for Familia Morgan, but it will be ranked. It will have paid Iris. So make sure that you uh, will pay a payout of Iris, not paid Iris. But it will have, it will pay out Iris just like every other regular war game. It's just a regular war game, guys. It's, it doesn't require a huge amount of explanation. And of course, Seven Zone is back. But these are things that we kind of always know. Like they're not new pieces of information. We know the week after Record Buster, nine times out of ten, we're going to get War Game. Very rare that we get another Record Buster or something else happens. Usually it's a very special event for that. So, finish up your Record Busters tonight, guys. Finish up your Familia Royales. All that is pretty much going to end. And then next week will just kind of be like a nice, chill week uh, while we prepare for part, you know, the story audio for part two. Like I said, we'll be doing that on stream. And then along with the story audio for part two, we can expect probably the week or two after that, probably the week after that, if I had to guess, part three should drop. So expect this to be, I don't, don't treat it as a dry spell. Just kind of take this as a little, um, breathing space between now and, you know, part three, which should be kicking off here really, really, really soon. So just enjoy it. <laughs> well, it lasts because I get the feeling part three is going to be nuts. If you want like any kind of indication about how this is going to work, um, last year for part three we got uh, the two hero banners, and then like a week later we got the villains banner. I believe a week or week or two later we got the villains banner, which means that while we've all you know we've been saying save eight thousand iris, I am just about at my eight thousand iris. Don't be shocked if. You know, uh, some of the units that we've been waiting for, Vesta specifically, don't drop in these banners. They might wait and drop her on a third villain banner. So one of the things you can kind of take away from the upcoming banners and all that stuff is if they drop hero-only banners as the two main banners on part three, that means inevitably there is a villain's banner coming. So prepare accordingly. Yes, that does mean another 4,000 Iris. And yes, I know most of us are not prepared for that. Uh, we got hit with two really stellar banners uh, right here in the middle of part two on top of the part two stuff we dropped. So, you know, uh, but basically in the next two weeks, we have two weeks time to make sure you have 8,000 Iris saved up. I know I said you need more, but at minimum, at minimum, 8,000 hours saved up. So get serious about it right now. Uh, we'll probably drop some more videos about how you can quickly farm Irish. I drop these videos all the time. It's not going to be new information. Most of you guys probably will know this. But for new players, you know, things like CP levels, things like the Interact, uh, shoot, just doing your, uh, your daily dispatch quests and stuff like that help out extraordinarily. Also, watch the ads. I can't tell you how many Iris I get from just watching ads every week i know it seems like a crazy thing but i mean i probably get several hundred iris a week just for the five minutes a day i spend watching ads to me i think that's totally worth so start saving start preparing this dry spell 
you're going to be wishing for this once part three comes because this is just going to be so fast paced and so much moving. So that pretty much is it, guys. There's not a huge amount to talk about for next week. But like I said, after that, basically from there to the end of part three is going to be just a lightning pace. So enjoy this. I'll be back next week with, well, I'm going to be back obviously later today as well, but I'll be back next week with some crazy news, I'm sure. I'm sure there's going to be a lot to talk about next week. And then, like I said, I'm expecting part three the week after. Maybe two weeks, but I'm guessing. I believe they said August, so expect it the week after. That's the news, guys. Catch you all on the next one, and don't forget to live stream tonight at 9 p.m. See you all there.